So here we are with a little update from our apron beds that we started <laughs> this year. Uh, we made them for the first time. We just like took some scrape wood, put them together and put a, like a metal fence thing under so that the roots can go through and they can dry and so that uh, encourages to the plant to do a lot of lateral roots and it's a bit easier when you go take them out and you plant them outside in in winter. We saw that uh, on average the ones that have deeper uh, pots, deeper beds are having the best growth, are huge. Here we have this bed with khaki from khaki that we just found from abandoned trees and that it had seeds so they were fertile and this is we think it's Diospirus khaki and we also bought some seeds of Virginiana which is the American variety that grows really really huge here it is it's a bit different you can see the different shape of the of the leaf this is the khaki and this is Virginiana it's a bit a bit a bit more elongated like this and what's good about this the advantages is that you just water once and all these trees which are a bit like 30 40 trees here they all get water at the same time here we i planted a, an apple when i was eating an apple from the core i just planted the seed usually they are kept uh, in fridges so they are already um, doing their stratifications so you just eat the apple during winter and you put it in and it goes straight away in in autumn in uh, spring this is like 50 50 to 60 centimeters and next year it's ready to, to be grafted like you can see it's quite it's quite thick so from just uh, five months of growth um, here we have almonds that also were stratified uh, for two months we just put them in in the soil in in a mesh bag and uh, they were the first one to go some of them they were eaten by mice or yeah the points were a bit uh, yeah you can see under that it's uh, dropping all the lower leaves because actually it doesn't need them because it's already a forest i think i counted here like more than 90 or something in this small bed it's gonna be fun to take them out because actually it's quite deep and they're gonna have like this this much of root but uh, yeah, it was our first time, so we didn't really know how much was too much. Here at first we had a lot of apples, but they were e all eaten by mice. Something that uh, it's also recommended is covering with a mesh when they are first uh, sprouting and germinating. Uh, we didn't do that, so mice ate all the tops and they didn't really regrow. So we went uh, on the street and took some plain trees, seeds, and we put them in. And also some uh, mulberries from mulberries that we ate. You can see here the mulberries. Actually, they're from Fox Pope. Ah, actually, I'm sorry, it's true. On our road, we always find some Fox Poops with a lot of seeds. Um, so we just took it, Jimmy took it because he's the fan of seeds in, in the poop. He took the poop and, uh, and he placed it uh, on the surface. And you can see all this is mulberry. It must be interesting because we don't know where the fox got it from, so. Here we have a volunteer white poplar. If you always plant poplar from cutting, you can also plant it actually by seed. It's like a super small uh, fluff with a small seed inside and you just put it on the surface and you keep it, keep it humid. Actually, we have even a black poplar. Yeah, here. Here's two black poplars. Two black poplars from seed, self-seeded. Yeah. Super cool. And um, an apple some uh, more apples over there and that side was Paopao, Paopao land, Asimina Triloba. And in the meantime I also planted some more apples because uh, why not, I had, I was eating them, but also the Paopao came out. Paopaos really are the last one to come out. In June it was quite late, but you see this is really doing amazing. Um, we're gonna use these as rootstock because they are not really from known cultivars, but the one over here, they are from really delicious cultivars. One is uh, Overly C, and the other one is KCU. KCU Atwood. Yeah, Atwood. So this one is the first one, and the other one, for now we have one, two, three, four of 
this one and one, two, three. One was eaten, we put 10 of each. The other one also was eaten or like got burned. So yeah, you always have some, some losses, but also some successes. And the last one is here. We have like a, a ocean of mulberries. We really actually put too much. This was the, the last one that we put in June by the fruits that we are eating. Uh, actually mulberries, they don't need stratification. So when you eat the fruit, you can also straight like plant the seeds. So either you process it through eating them and then pooping somewhere where you want them to sprout and keep them humid, or you just uh, let ferment some fruits and then so that the pulp can detach from the seed and then you just sprinkle that on, on top. Or also just massage the fruit with some sand so that it, um, it doesn't get so, yeah, it doesn't get, get stuck. Here we put a bit too much, but uh, already did kind of a self pruning here. But uh, I think it's gonna be fine. It's just like a beautiful carpet. So yeah, that was it I think for... That was it, huh? Yeah. Well, this is the, the growth you can do this with, with many more. Everything uh, that's... Uh, everything, basically. Everything that's uh, losing their leaves. Everything like this that is deciduous, so that it loses their leaves, so that you don't have to disturb them while they have green leaves, because mm. evergreens, they don't like it so much to be actually transplanted. So it's better to grow those in, in pots, in trays. So everything from like cherry, plums, uh, pear, apples, khaki, etc, etc. Hope you like that, this. Hope you like that. <laughs> I want to say that, but... Well,